welcome to part two of God Would Be a Liar. If God was not the God of all Israel and all the families of Israel in the latter days, as Jeremiah 31 1 says, God would be a liar. If there was not a kingdom age, God would be a liar because that is what is predicted. So we do survive the uh, tribulation according to God's word, uh, in spite of oblivion being prescribed and foretold. And God would be a liar if he could not reverse the curse. God would be a liar if he did not send hope for a hopeless, hopeless world at times end. And God would be a, a complete liar, utter liar, if anyone doubts love. <laughs> People, I could go on and on. Um, God would be a liar if he did not perform his word, but praise God, he is faithful to perform and accomplish his word, whatever he says. God would be a liar if Israel did not receive their new kingdom age name, Chrislam. God would be a liar. And God would be a liar when he inspired Muhammad because Muhammad said that Islam would end up in the kingdom age becoming uh, no more the light come on on that one. Uh, the Quran would be just its outward form and it'd be of no more importance because of a book that proves God's mercy. Jeremiah 31 and 32, the kingdom age covenant. God would be a liar if that was not true. And he says it would sound like Islam, Chrislam. And God would be a liar if, if, if these things did not happen. But you know, the, all the uh, Bible prophecies will unfold exactly as the horrors and as mankind's yells of anguish and despair and grief and sorrow uh, become like thick mud upon them. God would be a liar if that did not happen because he has predicted it. God would also be a liar if he did not send forth Christ Jesus to fight the battle, to fight the battle of uh, the white horseman, and he has a long bow. God would be a liar if that was not happening. The, the pale, the red, and the black horseman death disease and famine shall be vanquished by love who is our risen Lord of always, Lord Jesus Christ Almighty. God would be a liar if that was not so. And God would be a liar if the end time Elijah of Isaiah 49 uh, was not his arrow of the horseman. God would be a liar because it's written in Isaiah 49. And God would be a liar if I had not come to a place where I realized everything I've done has been in vain. Isaiah 49, 4, God would be a liar. And yet people uh, for 2,000 years, yep, that's Jesus. Nah, people grow up. Jesus was never uh, doing anything in vain. But God would be a liar if the son of love, Jesus Christ, did not arise in glory and the radiance of the magnificency of his own beneficency and that the resplendence of his honor would go before him and make all things new and tear down all mountains and all hills and god would be a liar if he did not at the end jeremiah 1 10 tear down all kingdoms of man's faiths that is not built upon unconditional love, all imagination otherwise. And God would be a liar if if anyone thought that everything that they've imagined has been of any consequence, of any importance at all. God would be a liar because uh, our righteousness is as filthy rags compared 
next to his transcendent love, God would be a liar. And God would also be a liar if 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 his wisdom did not make a way where there is no way. God would be a liar, but he tells prophecy not to make the to tell the future, but to change the future. And God would be a liar if the trial of all flesh did not come forth, Revelation 3, um, to come to bring his word of patience, to keep us from the hour of the temptation, not to change. God would be a liar if that didn't happen. And God would be a, li a liar if the hearts of the fathers didn't turn to the children and didn't turn uh, the fathers to the children if that did not happen, because then there could not be a kingdom age if that did not happen. And then the kingdom age would be a lie, but that is the ultimate truth. And God would also be a liar if the first was last and last was first and that was not true. And God would also be a liar if the revelation of who the sons and daughters of God are that all the creation has been growing with great expectation uh, and waiting for. Who are we? Angels in the flesh. People, God would be a liar if Jesus told us in John 10 that we are gods if we will not believe it. We are gods. We are angels in the flesh. The glory of the latter house greater than that of the former. We are gods. Jesus say, and he would be a liar if it wasn't true that the glory of his latter house is greater than that of the former and that we have been made higher than the angels and that is why the word of God says that we shall be as the angels because that's what we've always been people come on let's get real